I have been invested in emerging markets for 21 years now. Shortly after I finished university in Guatemala, my, my home country, I started to work as an assistant stockbroker at a local bank. After a couple of years, I decided to continue my studies, and that's when I moved to the United States. During that time, until 2007, I was an analyst for two commercial banks and also another, another asset management company. Looking back at the first half of my professional career, I do feel I was very fortunate to be able to have that very strong foundation to drive the bottom-up analysis because it does complement our top-down when we look across investing in emerging markets. I started managing money in 2007, just one year before the great financial crisis. I think there's very little doubt that it was a very difficult period, not only for experienced managers, but also for someone like me that was just starting this new role. Where it was difficult, it was also fascinating in terms of the lessons learned that I still apply in my investment process. The first one is very important to have a robust investment process and also have conviction in the position that you include in the portfolio. During that time, we saw bonds that had very strong fundamentals dropping more than 50-60%. It was just really driven by market. It was not driven by the company or the sovereign itself. The second point is that it's very difficult to time the market, especially if you're counting in a pool of weak credits to make some profit. During this time, we saw the financial markets completely close, and with these companies having no access to funding to repay the existing bonds, most likely you're going to have restructured credits in your portfolio. The last point is, it's very important to have communication and be transparent with investors because they will believe in you during these episodes of high volatility. The first thing that I want to mention is that I don't agree for emerging markets to be labeled as risky. Now, as a dedicated fund manager, I have more than 65 countries which can invest. And I don't think it's fair to throw all the countries in the same boat not everyone is moving in the same cycle. I don't think everyone can be compared against Turkey or Argentina, for example. I think the breadth and the, and the growth that we have seen in emerging markets in the last 20 years gives access to even those very, those very risk adverse investors and also on the other side of the spectrum to the ones that are looking for more yield. For us, how we manage downside is about the first thing having a very strong process and it's about diversification. We don't rely on two or three credits to help us outperform the benchmark or our peers. When we look at emerging markets, it's about themes. We're very clear that we won't be 100% right all the time, but that's why we look at themes in emerging market that we believe in the medium to long term will be able to play out as we expected. Everything we do at Jupiter is about active management. When we, close our, when we look across our funds, each position that we hold has a spread target. And we invest with a medium to long-term outlook. Once we have been able to reach that target, we look for other opportunities across emerging markets. I always say, you know, is, you, we need to get paid for the risk. It's not worth having the best credit out there if you're not getting paid for it. Invest, having a passive approach, in my view, can be dangerous. When we look across different indices, the companies that issue the more debt, that means the companies that have the highest leverage has the biggest weight in the benchmark. So you just simply buy into those markets or into those instruments, you're buying to the more leveraged companies out there. And in a down market, that could be very dangerous for passive investors. We believe that the Fed has come to the end of its tightening cycle and we are even expecting some rate cuts in the next 12 months. While it could be very appealing to extend duration to try to grab those extra, extra spreads, we do, we do believe and we're very comfortable in the short part, given that the US Treasury curve is inverted. And also we think that the second half of this year will be more challenging for investors. Over the last two months, we have started to take some risk off in terms of what this means is that we have invested more into investment grade, we have cut our high yield exposure, and also we started to, we started to cut our local currency exposure as well. 